Hello friends, Metapod here. I had a little technical difficulties just a second ago, but I think we are working now. My microphone was not working properly. Um, oh, I meant to rearrange some stuff in here. And what is this? Like a candle holder. I think that was uh, my boyfriend got that out when he was rearranging stuff after we uh, put away the Christmas decorations. So today is the big day, the second day of winter. We are going to propose today, and I've been asking, wish Mary. We got a couple comments on the videos. It seemed to all be about even. We got about one comment each for each bachelor, and then on Discord. Uh, some people were kind of uh, vaguely hinting that Rock would be the best. Nobody like outright said, I want you to marry Rock or anything, but uh, when talking about the game, it seems like Rock is going to be the best choice. So it looks like we are going after Rock after all. And uh, yeah, I don't know if we like need to propose at a special time or place. So we're just going to catch them when we normally catch them. And, uh... Yeah, let's go for it. Just... Did we just save the game? Oh, look! The banana trees have come in. There's the blue feather. Then we'll water our little turnips. And these will be probably the last crops we ever plant this playthrough. We will plant more trees, more fruit trees, but we will not plant more um, regular crops. Even though there are some crop combinations you can use, like with the uh, advanced crops or whatever, like there's some combinations you can use to uh, encourage your kid to be a scholar, but I'm going to try to do it without those because I'm trying not to use too many guides or whatever and kind of trying to do it mostly on my own, even though I've used a lot of guides to figure out exactly what I'm... S you just fall asleep as I talk to you to figure out what the heck I'm even supposed to be doing. Oh, and our calves seem to be healthy. And then somebody in the Discord said that I should milk by hand if I'm wanting to get the uh, Gopher Scholar. But a lot of the other resources I have read say that you should milk with the milker. So I'm not sure which one I should really be doing now. Um, so I'm going to keep going with the milker because uh, it seems like from the um, guide for the original game for A Wonderful Life, they had some pretty in-depth stuff about how the child reacts to different objects and stuff, and they seem to react scholarly toward the um, milker. So I'm thinking that that's the, that's the best way to go for now. And we're gonna continue our normal day and then we will go catch Rock when he comes out of the inn and give him the blue feather and see what happens. I don't remember what happens when you propose in this game. It's been a really long time since I've played this last. Like, by really long time, I mean like a couple years. Because so I've played this somewhat recently. But I don't remember what happens when you propose. So we will see what happens. I have a feeling it's just going to be a little like... Yes, okay, and then I know you go tell everyone, but I don't know if you do that right away or if you do that at the end of the year.
So I guess we'll see today. Tiny hiccup. <gasps> I accidentally ate it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Can't believe I ate the fish. <sighs> Let's catch a Yamame to make up for it. Look at Garter. Did I talk to him? Give me a nibble. That's all I ask for is a nibble. And a bite. But first nibble. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's raining. Big now on me. Okay, I'm gonna test leaving the cows out. Because if it's how I remember, ah, uh, is there no mining today or digging, or am I just here early? I'm here early. Oh, he said something different. I just can't get motivated on days like this. But then Flora's probably gonna say the same thing she always says because she's inside. Yep. <laughs> Then we shall dig. And let's see, around what time should I leave? Like 12.45. Oh, who knows? Rock might not leave today because it's raining. So we might have to go inside to find him. We will see. We got a moon ore. Which is pretty nice. We can give those to uh, Dr. Hardy. We got a skull fossil, which is good for Daryl. And we got a human statue, which sells for 25 gold. And might be a good gift for our kid. And now we dig. And dig, and dig, and dig. Yeah, I was going to move this pad of paper over. We have, like, this big pad of paper on the desk. And I have my laptop sitting on top of it. And I was going to move it so it was on the other side of the desk so we could still use it. Because my laptop is kind of permanently set up here. I mean, not permanently, but I don't move it. We got another skull fossil. Today I'm using this um, beard balm that like our neighbor friend gave us and I don't really like it. It makes me feel like waxy. But it might be because I didn't like heat it up enough in my hands before I applied it. But it's not. I'm not feeling feeling the effects. <laughs> and I applied it quite a bit ago, so it shouldn't still be feeling waxy, I feel like, but whatever. And it doesn't smell very good. But she's like very insistent on us using it, so <laughs> I decided to try it out today. And the last couple of times I've seen her, she's like, did you use it? Did you use it? And then it seemed kind of offended that I hadn't tried it yet. Okay, here we go. Just a couple more digs. One more. And we're done. <laughs> Okay. 
I'm a little nervous. Time to go propose. It just magically stops raining. And now it starts raining again. No, it stopped raining. We just changed the weather. Okay, so rocks should be coming out of the end just about now. I do not see him. And Griffin's in a weird place. Everyone's in weird places today. It's a weird place day. Oh, man. Maybe he's inside. There's Hugh. Yeah! <laughs> he's in there. Okay, he still feels hard, 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 hard about us. Aha! <laughs> he says, aha! When we go up to the goddess pond. <clears throat> A blue feather? You can't mean. Of course! So the time has come at last. You're hopelessly in... Well, I guess I don't have to say it. <laughs> the blue feather in my hands is proof enough of your feelings. Puts it in his pocket. But just let me say this. I won't work. <laughs> he just goes, I won't work. You don't mind that, right? Yes. Well, there's no backing out now that you've given me this. I know. It's just, even, even if we did mind it, you know what I mean? So I guess we're getting hitched. Somebody said that uh, they like Rock because he's the one who up front tells you he's not going to work. Because none of them work on the farm. Um, once you get married so at least he's being honest about it <laughs> oh that was funny now what do we do let's go talk to daryl and dr hardy <clears throat> my voice feels like it's getting a little hoarse even though i just started we don't need to talk to gus anymore here's daryl It's cold. Nice one, Daryl. <laughs> they always talk about the, like, climate. Like, everybody talks about the weather or the temperature. And now they're just saying it's cold. They, like, ran out of things for them to say. Like, at least in fall, they said it's not too hot, not too cold. Now that it's cold. It's chilly. Be careful not to catch cold. Oh, yeah, we talked to him before and he said that. Oh my gosh. It's cold. It's chilly. What do you say, Murray? You know Popo Valley? No. No one does, Moy. Okay, bye. <sighs> okay. Well, Taco Crow's over there. Weird. Let's see if we can get a harvest sprite to come out of here. What do they make in this kiln? I don't think I've ever inspected that in this game before. In Harvest Moon DS, you can get a Harvest Sprite by inspecting it, I'm pretty sure. It looks like everything's still wet from the rain. See, Opal and our cows seem to be healthy. It didn't really seem to do any damage. Get some milk. Okay. 
Talk to Coin. Where is Zelda? Oh, there she is. She like blends in. Oh, here's Daryl. I'm gonna play with Dennis. Make him jump over our heads. Wow! <laughs> so crazy. And then we'll go fish, and then we'll be done for today. We have successfully proposed. We are gonna get married in like eight days. There's Mukubuku. Forgot about him. He makes the weirdest sound. And now we fish. And tomorrow is Van Day, so we will get some money. We'll see how much closer we are to the thing, the uh, food processing room, which we need 30,000 for. We're barely over 10,000 now, we have like 12,000. So, and that was with selling a bunch of extra crap. I don't think we're going to make that much this time, so we'll probably get to like maybe 16,000, I don't know. I'm just making completely wild guesses, though. Who knows what we'll really get to. It's a tiny hiccup. Okay, so Carter's going inside at 5. That's good to know that he goes back inside at 5. Because we can take our kid to go visit him. Nibbles, nibbles. Oh. <laughs> I almost didn't press it in enough time. We got... Hiccup. I almost just ate it again. Because the eat button is the same button as to get your fishing rod out again. So if I'm too hasty in trying to get the fishing rod out again, I'll end up eating the fish. And as for what game I should play next before I do Shepherd's Crossing. I was thinking, I was saying before Celeste or Chorokyu and maybe Unlimited Saga, but now I'm leaning more to, whoa, Muku Muku showed up. Now I'm leaning more toward Chorokyu or Unlimited Saga and maybe like Final Fantasy Legend 2, which is Saga 2. Tiny hiccup. But I really don't know. I'd really like some suggestions on what you think would be good. Uh, and even if you don't have some like new suggestion or something, if you have even the tiniest preference between Chorokyu, Unlimited Saga, or Celeste, or Final Fantasy Legend 2. Let me know. Oh. We'll go one more time. Was there something else I wanted to do uh, before the end of the day? Oh, we didn't watch TV today. There's no nibble by 7.40. We shall leave. Though it seems to always be the same show in the morning. Oh, I thought 
that was Daryl. <laughs> it's Opal. <laughs> Wait, no, this is a new one. Star Trip Episode 3, Planet of the Plants. Stardate 3876942861123. Our spacecraft, the Starship Dinterpride, landed on yet another unknown planet. planet. What's this life form? A Venus flytrap? Or human trap? Wait, it can talk! Yo, 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 I sure am hungry. Got anything for me? Y you don't mean... Yum, yum, eat em up. Hey, are you gonna eat us? You? Give me a break. Y'all look so unappetizing. Besides, I'm a vegetarian. A veg- You only eat plants? Not just any old vegetarian eater. I'm a real picky eater. Mm, let's see, what else can I tell y'all about me? Let me think now. Come on, let's get out of here. Thus we pretended we had never seen this planet and continued on our way. Aw, oh, I wanted to hear more from the... Weird plant. <laughs> Alright, well, that is the end of today. We are officially engaged to rock. Um, excitement. And tomorrow we get to see Vans. I will see y'all next time. Goodbye and have a good one.